I don't know, maybe I feel in better shape now than even in, than when I was 10, 10 years younger. Wow. Wow. It's like, uh, like yesterday I went to a run like maybe for an hour and a half in the forest and uh, I was like, I feel, I just feel good. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Well, I wanted to thank you for, for sending me that testimonial. That was super cool to read, and uh, I really appreciate it. And I'd love to hear kind of the the in-person version of that. Like, what were your hips like when they were bad, and then what did you do to fix them, and then how are they now? Okay. Yeah, no, you're, you're welcome. It's been a while. I wanted to to write something down because I'm not a guy who's um, writing too much, like a review or posting things online, like, I don't have like social media and stuff like that, but I was like, come on, this program really helped me. So I need to, I need to take the time and to give some feedback because it really helped. All of this started from a, a knee pain, like in uh, literally when I, after I arrived in US, I'm uh, doing a lot of uh, sports since I'm a kid, doing a lot of judo, a lot of badminton, a lot of running, like I did a marathon, half marathon, things like that. And you know, without too much caring about um, mobility, stretching, strengthening, okay, I was doing like some plank, abs, stuff like that, but not very uh, serious as it is uh, actually necessary, <laughs> I realized. And um, so early 2016, I started to have a pain on my uh, left knee. Uh, you know, this uh, like the clack, 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 mm -hmm. like uh, mm -hmm. outside of the knee. I was oh okay well, I guess I keep running and I kept running and it kept uh, being worse and uh, starting to see doctor uh, so I saw quite some um, specialists for the knee here in Atlanta they were like oh yeah you have the IT band syndrome also called the runner knee uh, you can do short you can do there's a couple of things you can do PT so I did a lot of PT therapy, physical therapy, a lot of stretching. You need to stretch your IT band, you need to do this, you need to do that. Foam roller, the IT band, none of things uh, work. So after a few months and a couple of, a uh, few hundreds, hundreds of dollars spent, I'm like, okay, no more running, I'm fine. I, I can do other sports, running is maybe, maybe not for me. And I was okay, I was sad because I, I used to run two, three times a week. But I was okay, I'm moving on and doing other stuff. And I was starting to play tennis and, and to go more to the gym, do other things like that. And it was fine at the beginning because I think the issue with uh, running is you always have the same motion. So it's always uh, the same, yeah, the same motion. Whereas when you do tennis or other sports, you, yep, you run, you hit the ball, but then you break, you take the ball, you serve. So you, you don't have the same dynamics for mm -hmm. the body. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was fine for a while, but uh, when was that? Like um, two years ago, I started to feel um, like adductor. Uh, so this time it was the adductor, uh, inner side adductor, uh, very tight. So I didn't pay too much attention. I was oh, okay, fine. I'm going, I'm going to rest, and I rest, and it, I rested, and it was fine. So okay, good. But a year after, 2018, 2019, <clears throat> start to be uh, to come back. Uh, I did one season of um, tennis, but it was it was bad because I was uh, I was so much in pain and uh, it's weird because you warm up you're fine but the day after you're like oh it's so much in pain so it keeps getting worse and worse and at the point that uh, even putting my shoes on even uh, like uh, okay I'm going to bike bike is less uh, um, impacting less uh, trauma. Even biking was painful, so I was, oh, that's that's bad. Um, so that's why I really started to work on with uh, back to with my PT, the one who didn't find uh, the root cause from my uh, knee. But I was, okay, maybe we'll have a better luck for the knee. Didn't find too much stuff. Um, so I saw there was a sports doctor here in Atlanta, which is uh, so again you see the reviews, see the feedback, it's supposed to be good, and he did. Um, what you something you explain also in your video, like the, the test, like, you know you you what's the test to validate your uh, you have, like hip impingement, like, like the hip internal rotation test. Yeah, yeah, exactly the fala fadi or failure. Mm -hmm. Failure, yeah, thank you. Failure, failure test, and it was okay. and it was really like really bad. It was okay. You have this. Here's a couple of options. You can you're going to do PT. 
you need to do a massage. So I've done all of this. So I went to physical therapy, did a lot of dry needling, mm -hmm. which dry needling, which was so bad. I was sweating, I was sweating so much, like, and because you know, yeah, you know this area and this really inner side, the adductor is like, it's not a nice uh, area to, to, to dry needle. <laughs> yeah, especially in she, the, I remember the PT was like, okay, so here you have your uh, femoral uh, artery femoral artery yes exactly and so she was like okay i need to be careful because i don't want to pinch this like, no 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 you don't want to pinch this one that's gonna be so it was stressful it was painful but i was okay i'm going to go through the pain if it's successful i, I didn't mind i didn't mind like doing i was doing an hour of exercise at home she gave me a uh, lot of uh, similar exercise as your plan but mainly on the strengthening part Mm. A lot of strengthening, doing a lot of glutes exercise, a lot of um, uh, core exercise strengthening or um, adductor strengthening, but not too much in terms of um, stretching as, and nothing in terms of uh, tissue work, mm. if I see the difference. Mm. So she gave me a lot of didn't work. So another one, similar thing, didn't work. They did a lot of uh, jerking, like moving my hips, doing stuff, and they're like, um, then I went away in, uh, in Alaska for a vacation. I was like, oh, that's, I was in pain. I wasn't even able to bike. Uh, so I was with my girlfriend at this time. I wasn't able, able to, to bike. It was painful. So I was, okay, that's too much. I, like I said in my email, I went back in France also to see my family. So I was, okay, I'm going to have another opinion, another doctor. They were like, oh, yeah, you're, um, you're, you're too old already. Uh, you've got... Uh, going to have a arthritis and uh, I was like, what the hell? I'm not even 40 years old. <laughs> like, uh, they are talking about hip replacement. I'm like, oh, well, no, I don't want this. So that was stressful. That's why I really started to look, look um, for alternative and uh, alternative program because if we at this point, I was like, okay, I saw the three PT in Atlanta, three physical therapists. I saw Carol chiropractor, I saw sports massage, I saw an acupuncture. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So like six, seven different uh, professional, none of them really help. Uh, I did the uh, cortisone shot, didn't help. So at one point the doctor was, okay, so you need, we need to, um, you have a hip impingement and you need to uh, shave your bones so it stops uh, mm -hmm. um, grinding against uh, each other. So I was like, uh, which is really what you feel. That's because I, you, when you explain that, it's like really, uh, yeah, it makes sense. It's, yeah. That's how you, you feel in your body. It's like something is rubbing, like when you're trying to put your shoes on or you're trying to sit. Uh, like, Can I just jump in just for a half second? Because that's a, such a common thing that and it's something I felt in my hip, you're feeling, you felt in your hip, and many people feel that's like, it just feels like, the, the word people often use is, it feels like bone on bone. It just, I can yep. tell it's like grinding bone on bone. And it really kind of like feels that in your body. And so it's super counterintuitive that if you do some work on the muscles and massaging them in certain ways and stretching them and mobilizing them in different ways, that that bone on bone grinding feeling um, can change or it can go away. It's um, it's very counterintuitive because it doesn't feel necessarily muscular all the time. So to think that working on the muscles can help that is very, very counterintuitive for, for people. Um, and I think also when people research F FAI and they hear that the prevailing theory is it's bone on bone. If you don't change the bones, nothing's going to happen. Um, in your mind, you just like picture your bones like grinding against each other and it just like makes the whole thing worse and um so I, I think it's important that we underline and kind of highlight that even if something feels bone on bone or feels grindy pinchy very hard stop um improvements can be made so i just wanted to make that little small oh yeah no, that's awesome. right because yeah. for me i was always okay the guy is a doctor he's a surgeon he's he knows he has nice uh, NFL picture in his office and has this guy uh, sign off his uh, jersey. So he's like, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. It's like, okay, it's, and he's like, it's a pretty uh, minor uh, um, surgery, which just shapes your bone, tack. 
and you have a little couple of months of PT, and then you run again. I was hmm, that's that's appealing, but but I know deep down I always felt like I don't know something feels um, doesn't feel right to to do this. I was too I never had like intense injury like this. I never had, and I was afraid it would change uh, something in my body, change the dynamic. Plus uh, plus the cost, so I was like, okay, I'm going to wait. And um, I was even thinking, okay, if I do it, maybe I'll wait to be back in uh, in Europe to do it in my home country because it's it's cheaper, it's easier. You you don't have the same um, like language barrier, or you, or uh, I mean, just the uh, healthcare system is different. So I was like, okay, maybe I'll do it in in France. So I waited, I waited a little bit, and I did a lot of. Uh, uh, research and that's I starting to um, to see uh, your video and Matt's video and because it, like just like googling FAI in, in, in impingement in the meanwhile I found some other um, people posting some testimony and some or just some other video and I'm like okay I'm going to try this at home okay I'm going to try that and um, uh, all of the comments on uh, YouTube and all of the uh, testimony and like and what I think was good is you 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 post some help and some video like even without asking to to be a member or subscribe so it's like some stuff you can, you can do already without being fully a member or doing things so I was okay that sounds uh, interesting I'm doing a little bit here and there and then I was like oh, I might as well uh, I might as well uh, join and pay uh, pay for the uh, program I mean what What's the risk? It was, it was not like a, I think it was a good price, but I mean psychologically, psychologically it's not like okay, 500 bucks. I will not have paid that for something I was not sure. Right. But it was like okay, I'm, I can I can afford this. I can try it if it's. I was at the point it's better than paying. Uh, I don't know how much for the surgery, especially uh, really as the feedback, the comment, and that's why I'm uh, like I send this testimony and I'm chatting with you. So Shane is really. Uh, all of this, uh, I feel like the community of people who are mm -hmm. the same, and I'm like, man, I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I, I love having these conversations with you and people like you, and just hearing your story, because people, I mean, it's so it's so hard to believe what's real and what's a scam, or what's real and what's good and what's not good online. Like everyone, we all have our guards up. I do when I'm looking at potentially purchasing a product. I'm like. Is this the real deal, or are they just trying to make money, or whatever? Yeah. So it's like having more and more of these conversations like this, and just being like, "Tell me what happened with your hips," and then you share it is is really helpful because then people see, "Oh, there's other real people that are making progress," and that's why we have like in big bold letters on the website like 100% money back guaranteed because like if this if if our experience and our exercises and our methodology for working with hips doesn't work for you, here's your money back. Like we're not like we're not trying to make money if it's not helping you. So trying to do as many things as we can to help show people that there's other people out there like them and it's as zero risk as you can get because it's just some simple at home exercises that you can try and if they're trending you in a good direction keep doing them and if not get your money back yeah yeah that's a good definitely is a good approach and uh and then yeah that was my beginning uh beginning of my journey with uh, uh with you guys <laughs> and it was uh uh, when was that? So I think I bought it in September, yeah, September 2019. Um, oh yeah, I know what was the trigger because uh, my tennis season, tennis season was supposed to start in September, and I was like in August. I saw more PT doctor, and I was okay. I'll be ready for September, and I was not. So I was okay. I'm going to give up and not play tennis again this season. And I was like, oh, I was psychologically, you're you're done. I mean, you you. From your profile, you yeah you're quite active also, and you mm -hmm. remember, you exercise a lot. So you, I'm sure you can understand if I used to do like 10 hours of sport a week. So like when I cannot do anything, it's just you feel miserable. Right. Yeah. Especially at a, a relatively early age. Like if you're like 60 or 70, you're like yeah, the body's mm -hmm. supposed to break down then. But 30, 40, or 26 when it happened for me, I was like my life yeah. is like over. <laughs> yeah, it impacts your uh, your mood and. I was grumpy with my girlfriend. It was like it's, it's difficult. So I was like, okay. So September not tennis, but instead I was okay. I'm going to go through this program. And um, what I really liked in um, 
in the FI uh, fix is that, uh, well, it's well explained. You have the, uh, the three, uh, I mean, you know it, the three uh, pillars, the three axes. So that's okay, the tissue work. And so all of this makes sense. And, um, but what I like is um, the way I used it is um, obviously the testing. The testing was was good because it is, okay, I'm doing all of this. So I'm quite uh, OCD, so I'm very well organized. I had this uh, Excel uh, spreadsheet. I was, okay, today putting the, keeping a, like a journal of my uh, workout and progress. And um, okay, I've done this test, I'm putting a, a grade like, okay, one out of 10, nine out of 10, eight out of 10. Okay, this one are good, so I need to work on this one and this one. And for instance, for me, it was uh, internal and external uh, rotation. That was the main, uh, the main things. Uh, we see a doctor, uh, I forgot the name, but anyway, so it was like, I had no issue to squat. Squatting for, for instance, was good, but anything linked to a uh, rotation, was bad, so uh, that was my main focus. And uh, and then it's very well. Your program is well um, well designed because uh, you know what you have to work out, and then I just search in the PDF. Okay, what are the exercises for this? Okay, what are the tissue work? Okay, okay, I need that. I bought some uh, softball uh, uh, foam roller and all of the tools uh, we need to. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and here we go. And uh, so I did um, every single day, every single day for an hour, an hour, 20 minutes. Mm. I was like, okay, I have, I mean, if you don't give it a chance, it's, it's useless. And I'm quite, um, quite motivated when I go through an activity. So I'm doing it, waking up 6 a.m. in the morning before going to work. My girlfriend was like, oh, wow, you are, you're brave. You're doing <laughs> And I was, yeah, I have to, I have to. So I was sweating, rolling the foam, foam roller on my adductor, the, the quad, uh, oh man, this, uh, the wall plan, the wall uh, quad stretch. Yeah. It's killing my, uh, <laughs> quad. it was, it was tough. And so, but after two weeks I was, ah, do I see a little bit of a change? Ah, oh, maybe not, maybe, maybe it's in my mind. Let's keep going. But I already uh, realized uh, after a month, of doing this, I was like, okay, something is happening. I need, I need to keep going because I really felt like after a month doing this, it kept something was happening. And um, so September, I did it fully September, October, November. November I was, oh man, that's that's work. And like you said, you know, again in your program, you you adapt. You one week uh, you do more of uh, glute work, and the week after you do more of uh, quad. So you. You need to, it's trial and error. And again, that's well um, well explained. I didn't uh, have too many questions to ask. Like I never needed to give you guys a call and maybe I send once or twice an email to ask a question here and there. But uh, I saw the improvement and December, I think in December I was like, oh, I, I, I can start to feel, uh, I can uh, maybe slowly exercise again. I was. Biking without pain, walking without pain, so that worked. Uh, yeah, like three, three, four months, and you, you, I, I saw, I saw the, um, yeah, the good, uh, good results. So I think in February I was like, okay, I'm going to start to exercise again. No, maybe yeah, in, in uh, January, February, start to exercise again. Um, at the same time. I was like, oh, this guy's program works. So what about uh, something for the knee? And that's why I saw also you had something for a runner's knee on the Gotram. It was, uh, OK, same, I think it was 90 bucks and refund. I was, OK, I might give it a try. It's starting to work for my hip. So <laughs> maybe I will I have time to manage both? I don't know. But so I same, I, I bought it. and. And uh, mm -hmm. runner knee, what was uh, interesting is I had this uh, knee uh, clacking. So it was um, mm -hmm. like even when I was, I don't know, like moving, uh, like when I'm in bed and moving my knee, my leg, it's like clack, 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 clack. It's not painful, it's just clack, clack, clack. And uh, all of the doctor I saw was, oh yeah, that's fine, that's fine. But, but I realized now, like it's been a few weeks, I don't have this clacking anymore. Like my knees like feel uh, smooth and I'm like, Maybe that was a sign it was actually not that normal. 
That's the main thing I learned, I think, from the <clears throat> program is like, well, actually, there is a lot of things I learned is, um, um, yeah, you don't need to, the doctor don't know everything. That's, uh, I was quite impressed, like, because then, like I said, I saw some in France, some here, it's like all of the same, uh, the same pre-formatted answer. I'm like, come on, I'm not unique. I'm not a uh, weirdo. I'm just like 35 years old. I want to, I want to run again. Mm -hmm. So that's uh, mainly the first thing a uh, program learn and all of your uh, testimony and video is like, <clears throat> yeah, doctors don't know everything. Human body is an amazing machine. Like I was telling my um, girlfriend who is actually now my wife, like I didn't feel that good. Uh, I don't know, maybe I feel in better shape now than even in ten, when I was 10, 10 years younger. Wow. wow. It's like... Uh, like yesterday, I went to run like maybe for an hour and a half in the forest, and uh, I was like, I feel, I just feel good. Nice, nice. And I've been able to do this, uh, not even talking when I was like injured a year or two years ago, but even ten years ago. So it's really, um, it's, yeah, it's really uh, a <clears throat> high, high opening. Wow, that's awesome. That's that's quite the journey. I mean, you went from like not being able to run and then you tried to like switch sports and play a new sport tennis and you couldn't do that again and you tried to you kept trying to like do something else like play tennis or bike or do something and it kept not working for you and then you tried it sounds like you tried a lot of stuff you saw doctors you saw physical therapists you did um mm -hmm. dry needling massage multiple rounds of physical therapy and basically the net i think it was kind of funny in your email you wrote like all of those different things that you tried the net effect was basically less money in your pocket, and that's about it. <laughs> so yeah, no, no, I can uh, hike, I can run, I can play tennis, I can, yeah. Because what I found interesting is uh, when I look back is, and I've seen quite a lot of the, um, yeah, rehabilitation professional, PTs, chiropractor, and all of these, it's, they are not too far from having the keys, because it's just one is doing a lot of uh, strengthening, another one is doing a lot of uh, stretching, another one is doing tissue art, but none of them is actually doing combining this together. Mm. <clears throat> and that was uh, the difference because all of most of the exercise I saw in your program is, oh yeah, I know this one, I've, I've done it with my PT six months ago. Okay, this one's a little bit new, but okay, you need, it's just, but the, the difference is, um, is for you is okay tissue work and this and that and for me that's that's the key and none of them figure it out they do a little bit of here a lot of this but no never combine combine this together mm. so you would say that in your experience the difference between the fai fix and traditional physical therapy i mean in physical therapy like you said you're gonna there, some physical therapists are more like strengthening biased where they say strengthen glutes strengthen this strengthen 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 other ones are more stretching biased where they stretch 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 things I, I don't know if this is your experience but my experience with physical therapy is that the tissue work is the most sort of left out thing like maybe they have you do a little bit of foam rolling on your quads or it band or yeah. something and yeah. that and that's about it whereas i found the tissue work to be one of the most helpful things for me and for a lot of people um, so would you say that um, that one of those three pillars is missing from physical therapy and putting them all together in a logical and systematic way is what, what is missing or how would you say it? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I mentioned is, and that's why I think that's the key is like to combine out of three because one is like, for instance, when I was doing dry needling, I was like, okay, what is, what is the purpose of dry needling? I felt it was kind of tissue work, but but not exactly. And then I did like coping or um, what's the stuff they rub, like crusting, like rub on you. Crusting, yeah. So painful also. Uh, but none of, yeah, none of them is spending as much time as you explained like in a, for the tissue work. It's like, okay, you, you have weak uh, glutes. Like they are testing my glutes on some machine. Oh, you have weak glutes. You need to work out your glutes. Oh yeah, you have weak adductor. Okay, you need to do some strengthening exercise for your doctor. So I was like putting my leg on the chair and doing the Copenhagen and stuff. Like, super painful, but never really helped. 
because there was no no step before. There was no even while they were giving me homework. Like, okay, you have to do this five set, ten set, but I never did any tissue work before, and I think that's the key. It's like like you said, you need to spend much more time on the on the tissue work, and then it makes sense because you like you said it, you, you feel it, you feel on your muscle it's like something is. Mm. Ah, something is not nice and it's like mm, complaining but you keep rubbing you keep rubbing it right yeah so that's a difference this is another super important point that i'm glad that you mentioned that I, I i talk about often that all three pillars are important because the more data that we have about anything the more understanding we're going to have there's a saying that wisdom comes from multiple perspectives so mm -hmm. the more perspectives you have on your own body the more you're going to know about it. So if I only ever stretch my body, like you said, I might not know that if I massage, like I can stretch my adductors, but if I go and massage the attachment point of the adductors on the left and the right, and I find out that the right side adductor is extremely more tender to massage, but when I stretch it, I don't really notice that. If I mm -hmm. hadn't been doing massage, I would never know that. And I would never know that that's a problem that you know we want to strive for symmetry in the human body. Um, and similarly, if you leave out kind of strengthening, then you might be like, oh, I can stretch and my range of motion feels okay and I massage things and I'm kind of normalizing the tissue texture. But then you go to strengthen something and you notice a big side-to-side -side strength discrepancy. So um, I feel like if you don't include, if in your self-maintenance practice, your mobility practice, you're not including all three pillars of stretching, strengthening, and massage, and not in very surface level generic ways. Like you know as a user of the FI Fix that we're not just advocating for massage equals foam rolling. No, there's massage with this tool and that tool and this weird position and that weird position. So yeah. massage goes way deeper than foam rolling. Stretching is not just, you know, bend over and touch your toes, breathe, breathe. It's like, it's much more intricate than that. There's positionings, there's all kind of cues of how to contract this muscle and relax that muscle. And then same thing with the strengthening. I view kind of learning how to get really good at tissue work, stretching and massage, the TSR system. You need like, I mean, I think it's like a college education to get like really, really good at it, like two to four years of like regular study and practice of it. And then you'll have such an amazing skill set available to you after all of that. And fortunately for you, you've gotten some, some pretty good progress in in three, four months, you're back to running and playing the sports that you want to play with some things that you notice are still asymmetrical and stuff like that. But, mm -hmm. but you went from like the doctor saying like, you're going to have arthritis and like, just give up now at age 40 <laughs> yeah, to exactly. getting back to kind of doing the things that you want to do. And you're only three or four months into it. Like what's going to happen when you're three or four years into it? Like that's where the really exciting stuff happens where you don't have to be devoting an hour a day. It's like, 10 minutes a day. It's maintenance work at that point. So that's what I'm excited about for you and for anyone that kind of stays on the path of like tissue work, stretching and re-education for long enough to kind of reap the rewards. Um, that's, that's really exciting. Yeah, it is. And it's true, but, um, like you, you have, um, a good point with the way you do is exercise. Like for instance, uh, for me, stretching was just like, uh, okay, you hold and, uh, but the uh, contract and release uh, technique you explain is, uh, especially when you do like goalie stretch and things like that, it's like, okay, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah, you're contracting and release, contracting uh, and expanding it. And that's none of the, again, I don't want to blame them more, but none of the like PT, massage therapists I've seen explain this. Okay, you have to do stretching, but how do you stretch properly? It's not like something you you know, and so. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm. Is is there anything else that you wanted to share about your journey or about what you found helpful? Uh, no, no. It's. Uh, I mean, it's. Thanks, thanks you guys again. It's just uh, you're doing a good. Uh, just. A, I'm glad I met uh, I met all of this feedback and all of this video, and I joined the uh, and jo joined the community because I. It really changed my uh, yeah my day-to-day uh, -day life. It's, it's...